Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play series of Design Your Own Mission Mod. We're playing Jimmy Levis Edge of My Life. Mission Troublemaker. Uh, mission 19, I think. I think. I don't know. I think. I don't know, I think, 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 go down for real, I don't know, I think, I don't, I think, I'm sorry, let's do this, I don't know, I think, 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 I don't know, Uh oh, there's a friend coming. Oh, it's that faggot. Thomas! Robert, what's the problem? Why did you send me a message to meet you here? Two men came to your former house this morning. Uh, what, what, what man? I don't know, I wasn't there, but a couple of workers I hired were... They called me. They said the guys who came there were furious and they couldn't stop them. They trashed the place, and I was just at the end of making it a nice office. Sorry to hear that, man, but I had nothing to do with it. Really? The workers said that the men were looking for Thomas Jenkins and Scott Blake. Which brings me to the question, who is Scott Blake, first of all? Look, you don't understand. I don't, that's why I came to meet with you. I demand to know what's going on. Look, man, it's complicated. Well, I came here because you're... Friend, I want to know what's going on, Thomas. It's too complicated and too dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. Alright, if that's the case, then here's the deal. I'm cancelling our agreement on the house and the apartment exchange. You have to move out of the apartment by tonight. Also, another thing. Since you don't want to tell me what's going on, I'll notify the police right now. Oh, come on, Robert! You leave me no choice. Kill him, shoot him. Oh, he punched the fuck out of it. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, no one's around. How is there's no one around? Come here, dragging sound. <laughs> fuck, he passed out. Kill him, shoot him in the face. It's your friend, who gives a shit? He's not your BFF. I mean. Yeah. Scott, it's the. What the fuck are you doing? Oh shit, don't just. What the hell? Uh, there's totally no body here. I didn't punch him. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't, I even skipped the whole dialogue. Whatever. Let's go. I'm coming to help. Drive to the donut shop parking lot. I'm here. Where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. I'm here. What's the big emergency? Well... <sighs> Fuck no. We have to move it away from here. Is he dead? Nah, just passed out. Come on, help me get him into the trunk of our car. Watch his head, trunk closes. Alright. Get in the car with Thomas, alright. Who the fuck is that anyway? A guy who gave us the apartment. Oh shit. And that's the way to thank him? Just drive out of here, I'll explain. Oh god, where do you want to go? Go somewhere where nobody's around. So what happened? Man, Gary's people fucked everything up. Shit! Oh, for fuck's sake, I missed that. The guy in the truck, Sullivan, took my old place to make an office out of it, but... You told me this morning people came looking for me and you. I figured, Gary's man. When they didn't find us, they trashed the place. Sullivan wanted an explanation. I couldn't, so he decided to cancel our apartment agreement and call the cops. I had to think quick, so I punched him the fuck out of him in the head and passed him out. Passed him. He passed him. <laughs> When he wakes up, he'll still call the cops, and when he does, we're done. Shit. I know. I, should we call Nate? 
He has nothing to do with it. Forget it. Drive the car to the underground parking lot. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that there's, this thing exists. Oh, for fuck's sake, why is there always a car here? Shit. I don't know what to tell you. If we let him live, we die. End of story. If we kill him, you do understand the cops will start asking questions, right? We'll come up with a story good enough for an alibi. I'm not talking about that. With the cops snooping around us, there will be no jobs. The Al Kamu job is tomorrow. Let's say someone calls the cops by tonight. There's no chance someone will call them sooner. That will give us enough time to do a job tomorrow. After the job, we'll tell Nate what's going on and we'll see about it tomorrow. Okay, if I had to choose between him or us, I'd choose us anyway, so... Okay, let's do it. A few moments later. Kill Sullivan. Nah, I'm sorry, man. Well, you are a fag, so... I'm really sorry. Come on, let's get out of here. To be continued. Well, poor guy. And we just met him. Poor fucking guy. Poor Sullivan. I'm really sorry about that. But... Yeah. That is fucked up. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That was Edge of High Life. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!